Hello and welcome to the Cardboard Dungeon. My name is Pat, and we are kicking off our Gen Con 2015 coverage with a review of the Hound's Tooth expansion for Fantasy Flight's X-Wing Miniatures game. This ship, along with the rest of the Wave 7 expansions, was released at Gen Con this year. This is a YV-666 light freighter, and as you can see, it's a pretty ugly ship, which seems to be a recurring theme for a lot of the Scum Faction's ships. To me, this looks like a flying version of a Jawa Sandcrawler. Since we are now into Wave 7, I'm going to start skimming over upgrade cards that we've seen before instead of giving a full description each time. I'll still cover which previous expansions they came with and show the cards, so you can pause the video if you want to read the full text. Because Scum and Villainy is still a new faction to the game, we're going to see a lot of old cards showing up in these expansions. Okay, moving along. This is the third large ship for Scum and Villainy. And looking at the ship template, you can see that it has a pair of auxiliary firing arcs that extend the firing arc of its primary weapon to cover a 180 degree range. While it's not as good as a turret primary weapon, of course, this will still make it a lot easier to line up your shots. Looking at the maneuver options, right away we see that this is the second ship in the game with the zero speed full stop maneuver. The rest of the dial is pretty good for a big ship. It can bank at speeds 1 to 3, turn at speeds 2 and 3, and fly straight at speeds 1 through 4. The zero speed stop and the speed 2 turns are red maneuvers, but there's a decent assortment of green here to clear stress. This ship has an attack value of 3, agility of 1, and 6s in both hull and shields. The action bar is as basic as it gets, focus and target lock. Nothing surprising here. The upgrade bar is loaded with six icons. All YV-666 have slots for a cannon, a missile, three crew, and an illicit upgrade. That's a lot of options, especially the three crew slots, which opens up all kinds of powerful combo possibilities. The top ace for this ship is the Trandoshan Bounty Hunter Bosk. He's got a pilot skill of seven and costs 35 points. Whenever he hits with an attack, before dealing damage, you can cancel one critical hit and add two normal hits to the result. Mangler Cannon seems like a good weapon of choice to get the most bang out of this ability. Bosk is the only YV-666 pilot who has an elite pilot talent slot on his upgrade bar, which gives him even more customization options. Morallo Evil has a pilot skill of 6 and costs 34 points. He can use his auxiliary firing arc when attacking with a cannon secondary weapon. Heavy laser cannon with a 180 degree arc. Very nice. Lots Razi has a pilot skill of 5 and costs 33 points. When a friendly ship declares an attack, you can spend the target lock on the defender to reduce its agility by 1 for that attack. Razi can use this ability on his own attack as well, since all ships are considered friendly to themselves. It's also worth noting that there's no range limit on this ability. This is a very powerful ability and is going to make Fat Han players cry, since reducing the Millennium Falcon's agility to zero means no defense roll, which means no C-3PO. I haven't talked about Talon Bane Cobra yet, but I'm already envisioning a powerful 1-2 punch with Razi reducing agility before Talonbane unloads 5 attack dice at range 1 on a key target. Trandoshan Slaver has a pilot skill of 2 and costs 29 points. He's a generic pilot, so no special ability. There's one more pilot card in this expansion, but I'm going to talk about it later since it's tied directly to the Hound's Tooth title card. Moving into the upgrades... We're going to see a bunch of repeats here as Fantasy Flight starts giving scum-only players ways to get copies of older cards for their faction. But there's some great new stuff here, too. Crackshot is an elite talent that costs one point. When attacking a ship inside your firing arc, you may discard this card to cancel one evade result. So in conjunction with Lats Razi's ability to reduce agility... This card will let you further cripple a target ship by taking away an evade result, which can come from dice, or evade tokens, or even C-3PO's ability. Anything that adds an evade result to the defense roll is open season for this card to cancel. 
Of course, it's a one-shot ability, but when used at the right time, it can certainly be a game changer. Lone Wolf and Stay on Target are both elite pilot talents, which previously were only available in the YT-2400 expansion. Heavy Laser Cannon is one we've seen a bunch of times. It's also included in the Slave 1, Lambda Class Shuttle, and YT-2400 expansions. It's here because it's a great choice for the YV-666, especially when Moralo Evil is the pilot. Bosk is not only a pilot in this expansion, he's also entering the game as a scum-only crew upgrade. He costs 2 points and has an amazing ability. After performing an attack that doesn't hit, you must receive 1 stress if you don't already have stress. Then, assign a focus token to your ship and acquire a target lock on the defender. Pair this with Gunner, and you've got a super gunner who gets to attack with focus and target lock every time he activates. Next, we've got additional copies of K4 Security Droid and Outlaw Tech, two crew upgrades which were also available in the Wave 6 Most Wanted expansion. These pair really well on this ship, giving you free actions when you perform red and green maneuvers. Glitter Stim is a new illicit upgrade with a cost of 2 points. At the start of combat, you may discard it and receive a stress token. Then, until the end of combat, you may change all focus results on your attack and defense rolls to hits or evades. So basically, this gives you a permanent focus token until the end of combat. This is an absolutely amazing card, and it's going to become a staple in scum and villainy squads. Ion Projector is a large ship only modification that costs 2 points. You get 2 copies of this card. When an enemy ship executes a maneuver that causes it to overlap your ship, roll an attack die. On a hit or critical hit result, the enemy ship receives an ion token. This is nice, especially with ships like the Lambda Shuttle and YV-666 that have the zero speed stop maneuver and can be used as effective blockers. Now this one's a big deal. Engine Upgrade was previously only available in Wave 2's Millennium Falcon expansion, and if you've been playing X-Wing for any amount of time, you know that it's one of the best modifications in the game. It's good to have a way to get additional copies. Maneuvering Fins is a YV-666 only modification that costs 1 point. When you reveal a turn maneuver, you may rotate your dial to the corresponding bank maneuver of the same speed. So you can lock in a turn, and then when it's your turn to activate, you can change your mind and bank in the same direction and speed instead. Maneuver options are always good, and this is cheap at one point. Finally, we've got the Houndstooth title card. This costs 6 points, and is YV-666 only, of course. After being destroyed, before removing your ship from play, you may deploy the Nashta Pup pilot, which cannot attack this round. So a little background. Bosk has a customized Z-95 headhunter with folding wings named Nashtapup, which he stows away in the Hound's Tooth. This card lets your YV-666 pilot bail out in the Nashtapup just before his ship is destroyed. Here's the Nashtapup pilot card. It's a standard Z-95 with the normal 2 attack, 2 agility, 2 hull, and 2 shields. It has no printed pilot skill, no point cost, and no upgrades. It has the pilot skill and pilot ability of the YV-666 pilot with the Houndstooth title. To deploy the Nashtapup, you simply choose a maneuver on the Z-95 dial, and then place the template against either the front or rear guides of the Houndstooth, and then place the Nashtapup at the other end. It can take an action as long as it's not overlapping a ship or obstacle. So now we have a ship in the game that can launch another ship into the battle, and it only costs 6 points. A Z-95 with Bosk's or Lats Razi's ability for 6 points is a steal. This is really, really amazing. The X-Wing designers are knocking it out of the ballpark with these scum and villainy pilots. First we got the paired IG-88s, now Bosk with his Nashta pup. There's so much theme and lore that's being translated directly into X-Wing game mechanics with these pilots. And that's the Houndstooth expansion. We've got a bunch of great new things in this box. 
the first ship in the game with a 180 degree firing arc, the first ship able to deploy another ship. Scum and Villainy gets their own ridiculous gunner combo to put up against Han Solo plus gunner, or Darth Vader plus gunner. And Crackshot and Glitterstim bring in two more very powerful one-shot upgrades that will definitely have an impact on the game moving forward. As always, thanks for watching the Cardboard Dungeon. You can follow us on Twitter for updates, announcements, and pictures. See you next time.